So Le'Veon Bell's best fits, according to Gil Brandt. Gil Brandt should be a Hall of Famer. Uh, former vice president of personnel for the Dallas Cowboys. He is an incredible scout as well for NFL.com. The best fits for Le'Veon Bell. Number three, he has the New York Giants. Yep, I would certainly say so. Sure. That works out for me. Number two, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. And the reason being, well, not only does this fit because this article was published pre what Tampa Bay did, which is cut Doug Martin. So now they have an opening at the tailback position. Number one, stay where you are. Ride it out with Big Ben, A.B., Juju, and just see how it goes with a new offensive coordinator. Although, I will say, Todd Haley, for as much crap as he catches, he got Levy on the ball. Yeah, so. I mean, well, this is the thing, um, Mr. Gil Brandt. Uh, the reason he said the Steelers is the number one is because he's right. I mean, th- there's too much. Okay, depending on, of course, numbers and, and who you're with and how happy you are in, mm-hmm. in the situation. But as far as how you're performing on the field, the reason he's a star and he's known is because he's it works out there. Yeah. So this desire to jump ship and switch teams, I'm not saying jump ship because he's bailing, but to switch teams or anything because it might be cool and I may have this opportunity. If it's already working, uh, don't go into an unknown situation where you don't know well, how much it's going to work. Allow me to say this. He has been ticked at the organization because year after year they tag him. Mm-hmm. Franchise tag yeah. him, franchise tag him. They don't want to commit long True. term. I get it. I do. But what I think he should do is ride it out with Big Ben. And everybody wants a long-term deal. That's cool. Ben probably has another year or two. Tops three. Yeah. yeah. Sign that contract. Handcuff yourself with A.B., Juju, Big Ben, a prolific offense, all the killer bees plus Juju, of course. And see how it goes for another few years. I mean, it's... Because if there's one thing you don't have to worry about when you're getting big money, and you should, because the, the, the lifespan of an NFL player is 3.3 years. Not good. Yeah, Le'Veon's in a good position, but anything can happen on any given day with any hit at any point That's in time. True. Get the money, but if you want to not worry about winning, you go to Pittsburgh and you stay there. Absolutely. Stay the there worst year. rushing teams in the NFL last year, Detroit is at the bottom. They could use them. Cincinnati, they could use them. Newsflash, all these teams could use Le'Veon Bell, including the Giants, who sit there at 26, yeah. and Pittsburgh, surprisingly enough, at 20th. The sleeper is Seattle, but they're not going to throw big money at him because they've already shown that they could get by with pretty good running backs that they don't give huge money to. Yeah, I mean, again, it's another thing. Can one guy in a system where running backs it is not working change the whole outcome of their futility? Mm-hmm. I don't know, man. It's, it's a team sport, so you'd have to look into other reasons why these teams don't have a very good running game. What, what running backs they had in and what was the reason why they weren't very successful. Maybe they need an offensive, uh, more offensive line, a run offensive line help, you know? Tampa Bay has the line. At 27, that could certainly be a big yeah. win. Lastly, the NFL draft running back rankings, according to NFL.com, Daniel Jeremiah, who I certainly do appreciate. Saquon Barkley, Ronald Jones is second, who you know a thing or two about. That's Darius cool. Geis, Nick Chubb, Kerryon Johnson from Auburn. Those are the guys that if the Pittsburgh Steelers do say bye-bye, see you later, some of them may be available a little bit later on in the first round. They could certainly grab one of them. I mean, keep the kid that's in state, right? Saquon. Not going to be able to get him. Not going to be able to get him. No. Top Absolutely three pick. Not. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Of course not. Nick Chubb, though, win. Let us know your thoughts. Comment section below. Subscribe to GYD Sports. We'll see you next time.